best way to make sure that you're you're doing everything right or that you know everything is just just pretend you're a ray of light coming in and see so make sure you can name everything each way so the first thing that you're going to hit is the cornea and then the ray of light will pass through the pupil and the pupil is just the opening generated by the iris and behind that will be the lens. The lens is suspended by these suspensory ligaments that are attached to these ciliary muscles. This whole part is called the ciliary body. And so as you can probably see, you know, you can imagine if you if you tighten these muscles you're gonna you're gonna stretch the lens, thin it out, relax, it's gonna you know you can get less elongated and Basically, by that, by that, you're just finishing the rest of the third of focusing, which you need to get it back there, uh, the, the light focus uh, on the fovea. So does that make it dilate? No. These, the, the muscles in the pupil make it dilate. These, so you've got these circular or sphincter muscles centrally, and then you have these radial muscles. So if these sphincter muscles contract and the radial muscles relax, your, your pupil will constrict. It's so this, hard for me to, like... That oh, what part are you having trouble with? Just like the whole part about like what makes it dilate. Okay, here, let me draw something here. We'll just we'll just make it simple. So let's say this represents the sphincter muscles, okay? Mm -hmm. So here's your, your pupil. Okay. And the radial muscles go out like this. So we'll just draw two strands of radial muscles. So if these muscles contract, the pupil's gonna get smaller. And, but these muscles have to relax. The radial muscles have to relax. But if the uh, sphincter muscles relax uh, and the radial muscles contract, then the pupil will dilate. Okay. That makes sense yeah. now? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so, and then this from here to here is the anterior cavity. And the anterior cavity is further divided into the anterior and posterior chambers by the iris. So this is the posterior cavity and it's filled with the vitreous humor, sort of a jelly-like substance. Can we say jelly? Or no, we vitreous, to, yeah. vitreous humor. Yeah, vitreous humor. Vitreous or aqueous humor. Um, so, and then we hit the fovea back here that's just purely uh, cones. So that's our area of highest visual acuity. So now this is, we're getting into the retina back here. And this thing that looks like a corn on the cob is the optic nerve. This is the optic disc. And so this is a blind spot because you don't have any photoreceptors there. Right there. Mm -hmm. Where all those neurons converge to form the optic nerve. And so um, the cornea and the sclera would be the rest of this, the white of the eye. And that's it. That's pretty much everything that can be labeled there.